Slech de Nice, Anton van Vaux's exquisite and heart-stirring masterpiece, might be the most iconic mini-monument of the Boer War. Vivid, tender, recognizable and absorbing, this eloquent and extraordinary bronze is one of the country's cultural treasures. Conceived in 1907 in the artist Duinfontein studio during a hot streak of creativity, it was first exhibited in Johannesburg and Pretoria in July 1908 and in London at the Fine Art Society galleries the following year. The sculpture catches two crestfallen Boer soldiers, broken in body and spirit, but brave and ever hardy, resigned to the loss of their republics as independence or their own impending imprisonment. The moment is agonizing and inspirational. One man rests his head on the other, his right ankle snapped and useless, his physical pain buried and his cartridges mainly spent. The other's stare is dogged and fixed forward, his soft felt hat throwing shadows across his gaunt face, his rifle temporarily downed and his expression haunted by suffering. A Dutch critic, for die Volkstem, reviewing the work in 1908 with the war still fresh in mind, Patty described the second heroic figure. The other figure, more powerful, more magnificent and masculine, has already conquered the severity of his grief. Even though his posture remains sunken, even though his gun and bandolier were dropped in dejection and are still lying there where he indifferently dropped and hung them, yet in his facial expression and his eyes there is something indicating that here sits a man hardened by war and adversity. He could easily again at any time resume the fight. This particular casting of Slechtenius comes from the furnaces of Giovanni Nassini, the acclaimed foundry on the Via del Babuino in Rome. High quality Roman castings of this work are desperately rare. Only a handful were ordered from Nassini between 1908 and 1924, with others potentially produced up to 1934, before the plaster was moved to Giovanni Massa's foundry. The extraordinary Roman foundrymen and patineers certainly did justice to Van Vaux's touching figural composition and his staggering attention to detail. Note the iron sights on the Mauser rifle, for instance, the crumpled corduroy jacket sleeves, the matted beards, holes in soles, and the lizard behind the soldiers, perhaps emboldened by their long melancholy stillness. The sculpture is a poignant tribute to brotherhood, an enduring image of courage, grit, and patriotism. <laughs>